Welcome back to Mass Appeal. Believe it or not, many of Leonardo da Vinci's great works of art were painted using eggs. Father Christopher, Christopher Stamus from St. George Cathedral joined us, is joining us to share more about the upcoming Glendie Greek Festival and to show you how to create masterpieces with a kitchen staple, an egg. Wonderful to have you here. Thank you so much. Now, nowadays, people can go to an art store just to, to get paint or pick up art supplies, but way back when, when Leonardo da Vinci was painting, he wasn't able to do that. That's right. From the Middle Ages, even way before that, the tradition says that uh, icons, religious icons, go back to uh, more than 2,000 years. And, and as you said, people didn't have acrylics, they didn't have oil paints, they created their own, their own paints. So what, what they did was they, they used a very basic uh, product. Just something Except as simple as an egg. Something as simple as an egg. Why, so don't, why don't you... Um, crack the egg? Crack the egg into that plate, please. Here we are. And All what, of it? Yeah. Or just the yogurt? Yeah. Okay. No, no shells. And, no shells. And what I've done is um, I, I really just took the rocks, believe it or not, from my driveway. Seriously? I, went, I literally went into my driveway and I, and I took some, I found some kind of reddish brown rocks here and I smashed them up with a hammer and a mortar and pestle. Uh, this is actually part of my driveway. <laughs> <laughs> I hope your this driveway is, survived. Uh, and then I went into my wife's um, um, spice rack and I took some mint and basil and, and made powder out of that. And then I found also some white uh, rocks so at the base of my driveway. you had to work hard for this. It, it took me about an hour to create these. <laughs> yeah. 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 So um, what we do is what we want really is just the yolk and when okay. I say that I'm I'm gonna differentiate the yolk from the membrane around the yolk so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a little bit of a mess here and and they kind of insist that you that you um, that's okay we lost the, the yolk it's okay. no, no we're it's good it's a slippery one it's still good it's a slippery yolk but the we we separate the white from the yolk in our hand so there's the yolk still inside the membrane. Mm -hmm. Now we take a, a little pointy object, I have got a nail here, and we literally poke the membrane, and that's why I want to hold it in my hand so I can hold the membrane. And you're getting you pure yolk right now. I'm getting pure yolk, so the membrane stays in my hand. No way, I wonder wow. how people the hundreds and hundreds of years ago figured out Okay, we're going to take an egg yolk, not use the membrane, and then we're and going to make paint. And not use the egg yeah. whites. Yeah. yeah. So Da Vinci, um, when he was a poor artist, would, would just use stones. I, I was on the beach uh, a few weeks ago, and I saw brilliant green and blue and various colored stones. And, um, <clears throat> and it just, and that's it, how you make these yeah, paints. Yeah, any, any artist could use those. But um, if you were royalty, if you were very wealthy, you might... Uh, create powders out of emeralds or rubies and certainly gold and um, and paint with and use and, them to paint and use them to paint now let's before we start painting let's look at some examples I know the Last Supper by Da Vinci was that's was right the probably Last Supper you can see kind of a slightly muted tone uh, and so these are just from rocks and different minerals and things that right. you know Leonardo da Vinci picked up and that's this is right. probably the most iconic painting of, of all the Renaissance exactly and he exactly. used eggs so let's use some of it uh, for ourselves how do we uh, put the coloring into this. Yeah, so what we do is we simply take the yolk that we have here and we mix it with some of the powders here, some of these reddish brown. Oh, you put it right in there. You just put it right in there and you just begin to mix. Now some people will like to um, mix it with vinegar or, uh, or even water mm -hmm. just Tip to it make out. it the consistency that they want it to be exactly. Now, a little disclaimer here. I'm not actually an iconographer. <laughs> I uh, thought you were. I'm not an iconographer, and I don't usually play one on TV either. <laughs> but, but today, I'm just showing you very quickly that... Um, this is really cool. Yeah, it's really amazing how you can take that. I'm so excited to try painting with it. I'm actually really also very impressed with all the work that it takes to... Get yeah, it, it was literally just a hammer. And, what, it <laughs> I'm very some, good with a hammer. It takes some muscle power, right? And, <laughs> yeah, you see the, the brown tones? Yes. Right? And so this is representative of, of some of the things people will be learning, once again, at the Glendie Greek Festival coming up this well, weekend. We, we do have a professional iconographer coming. He's going to be giving a few lectures this weekend. And uh, this is just one very small aspect of, of what he'll be discussing. His, his intention, really, is to teach people how to make their own icons. 
and um, and so we're we're very lucky to have him. He travels all over the country. What's your favorite part about the Greek festival? What do you really love about well, it? You know, bring so oh, many he's people putting out. You on the spot. I know there's so much to love. Well, well <laughs> certainly the food. I know everyone loves the food. It's it's the best anywhere. However, most people know us from just simply driving by our church, and they've seen that beautiful church from the outside. It's even far more beautiful on the inside, and that's what. I like to focus on. I bring people in. I give them a tour. It's really just a, a beautiful piece of art itself. Uh, we've got a um, chapel, a Byzantine-style chapel, which is across the street. Also, we give them tours of that. Uh, it, it, it's a wonderful weekend, and I mm -hmm. hope that uh, people will take the time and come out and, and join us. Everyone's invited to try all the food. Everyone's and invited. Watch the dancing and see all of these demonstrations and cooking demonstrations. And it is nice that you take such pride also in the. The church and, and really what it's all about. So Thank give you those so tours. Much. It's a pleasure well. having you here today. And you can learn more about the festival and Egg Temper by visiting mymassappeal.com just a little bit later today.